Oh, mint. Oh, lost the stamp. Where is it? What am I missing? There's no flakes. Kill me if I've lost it. I know I have it because I've used it. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Do I put it? Do I want to use it now? I might want to. Right. Bear with. There it is. I knew it was safe. Sorry, I'm not super organised this morning because I've been prepping for Thursday. Busy, 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 busy. Right, little bits all over the place. So, who have we got? Oh, good morning, Judy, Karen, Caroline, Helen. Hi, Grace. Janice, Joanna, Annette, oh, Chrissy, Edith, Sonia, Heather, Sue, Shell, Jean. Hi, everybody. Uh, right, so, uh, many of you will have seen uh, <laughs> Black Hole. Oh, my goodness. My hole, my, my, my den of mess. That's what we'll call it. Den of mess is just stupid at the moment really stupid anyway you don't need to know about my mess so many of you will have seen phil's um uh facebook live yesterday and out today are the new christmas flora musicas plus two additions to the uh big background uh collection uh but festive so just very quickly, if you missed it yesterday, um, I mean, obviously the Flora Music collections, uh, we've done a couple of those now, uh, which are florals. Um, and so uh, we thought it would be a very good idea to bring some of the Christmas florals into the Flora Musical collection. So um, right at the top is my favourite, has to be the poinsettia. Um, Obviously, there's different areas that you can use with this. You can see the stamp is much, much bigger because it's a, almost a full A6. And you can see in here, look at these stars here, and you will find these on the big backgrounds. So instantly, you've got your background for this if you want this as the focal point. But obviously, you could use this as your background and just pop yourself a sentiment uh, in the centre and... Um, you're good to go for a smaller card you don't actually have to, have to have the big ones but i think this one's going to be the most popular because obviously we all love our poinsettias don't we then we've got our mistletoe obviously a little bit of kissing going on underneath there maybe who knows you will find that a lot of them have uh, different deers on them too and when you look into them and the more you use them you will see more details this one has got snowflakes, has got star as well. So there is actually uh, the snowflake background. So you can see that you, again, that you're gonna be able to use the big backgrounds with the A6 stamps as well. I'm not worried if my stamps look dirty. Um, this is the one that Phil used yesterday, the um, holly leaf absolutely beautiful focal point there obviously you don't have to use the whole thing you could use a, a, a smaller die and just use that or put that on a tag which would be rather lovely again we've got another deer in here and we've got the snowflakes and of course you've got baubles and the the, the things that are, are, are you used to seeing with the flora musica so you see you've got your, your music in there some kind of postage marks and whatever very much in the theme of uh, what we have we've had already and then this is your last one. This is your uh, hellebore or your Christmas rose, um, which uh, is is one of my favourite flowers, actually. And um, if you um, Google it, uh, they're not just available in white. 
Uh, we used to have some purple ones where we lived before. Uh, you can get them in pinky tones as well. But the beauty of being a stamped image means that you can actually colour it in whatever you want to. Uh, you can give it a nice green tinge to a, a white one if you want to. Um, you can do them blue. Don't really matter, does it? You know, you stamped it, you colour it in however you want to. And again, we've got the snowflakes in the background, which are going to tie in with the big background as well. So those are all your floral musicers. There's just four of them because we don't need to do all the Christmas um, flowers to death, do we? The, the only other one I, I think is around at Christmas is your cyclamen, isn't it? Um, but then you get summer cyclamen as well, which um, are just coming out in my garden or late summer. So obviously your two big backgrounds, you've already seen a bit of a, 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 a sneaky peek here on your Flora Musica. You've got your journal page, which is your vintage snowflakes. As usual, you've got your lines on there and you've got your um, your kind of holes where it's been pulled out of a ring binder. You can just use sections of that. You don't have to use the whole A5. And finally, we've got the stars. And I mean, we've seen the stars on the poinsettia here as well. So you can see they tie in absolutely beautifully. Again, lined with your holes in, in the side as well. But it, there's nothing stopping you having it that way up if you want to. You know, if you think you would grain, um, sometimes, that, you know, in your fencing, that goes that way. Use it whichever way you want to. So those are the six new stamps. We also have uh, some new dies on the show, uh, some of which I've used, some of which I haven't. I know Phil will be showing you these, and I know you were waiting for these. Um, we've got your. Oh, don't put those where you're going to lose them, Julie. We've got your um, elegant script festive sentiments. So, to go with your everyday and your occasional ones, you've got a bunch of Christmas sayings as well, and um, and you've got the shadow. And then so you don't have to, you can actually personalise your cards. You've got an uppercase um, with numbers, again, shadows with those. And you've also got, that's an A4. And then you've got your um, um, A5 die set, which is your lowercase. And you've got numbers on there. And obviously that's smaller numbers. And you can see that Phil's put them in individual dies. So that each set has got five dies in it. Uh, obviously on your mag sheet, uh, and that means that it's harder to lose one. It's very easy just to lose one little die like that. Um, um, so be very careful, actually, oops, uh, with this one, because you've got an A in here for uh, a happy Christmas and whatever. So uh, that's everything that's new on um, the shows. The film launches at 3pm today, and, and then he's got 7pm, and then I've got um, nine and one tomorrow. Okay, right. So what I did when I got mine was I had a really, I'll just show you some of these quickly before we get into the demo. I had a really lovely um, couple of hours one afternoon and I just stamped them. And, um, you know, you could argue that why waste time stamping them when you're not necessarily going to use them? Well, that's very true, but they're here. So I can use them when I need to. Um, so just just with some uh, black Versafine, this is Acorn, I think. Um, just stamping them out onto watercolour card. Um, this is Shady Lane with the Hellebore. Um, just, just stamping them so I can put backgrounds on if I want to. Uh, the poinsettia, you can see how beautifully they stamp out using it on your oxide background. Now that doesn't need an awful lot doing to it. So you could just uh, trim that down, pop it on a card, jobs are good. And obviously you can add more color in there if you want to, because it is on watercolor card, so you can move it about. A uh, few of those different colors. This one I've stamped with the, um, this is the Green Oasis from um, Versafine, which is a, it's a bright green. Let's grab my greens. I've got four greens in use at the moment. First fine clear. This is the green oasis that I've used. And we've got rainforest, which is a little bit darker. You've got shady lane, which is, um, again, a different hue. And you've got verdant as well. Um, not used that one um, in this. But this is the green oasis. And what I've done is I've just... Um, stamped it and then I've popped 
the uh, crystal, uh, cosmic crystal uh, one. Yeah, nope, that, not that one. I've got everything on my desk here. And do you think I could find clear embossing powder when it's in front of me? I put this one on cosmic crystal twinkling embossing powder and it's got lots of different colours in it. So it does give a different look. So that's good to go really as it is. Um, and I've done uh, the same thing here uh, with the mistletoe again. Because you've got little blue, you've got blue um, glitter going on in there. So they're all ready to go straight away, which is fab. And then uh, there's a couple of stars here. So this one is just stamped and embossed with the uh, Cosmic Silver embossing powder, Versa Mark. And this is rather lovely. This is your um, your Silver Luster um uh, cardstock uh, just stamped and embossed with pure silver and that that I think is rather lovely too so um, they're good to go whenever I need them which makes making cards a lot quicker I mean while your stamp's dirty you might as well stamp a few of them mightn't you now where's the one I'm doing let's have a look I'm very naughty because I was prepping beforehand I haven't actually done all my sticking together so I do apologize but we won't be we won't take anywhere near as long as Phil takes because we're not colouring in. We're going to just do a silver and white card. So let's do the um, stamping that we need to do first. So what we're we doing first? Let's do the let's do the Flora Musica first. So we're well, going to use my favourite because we can. And is my other favourite. And Phil did draw this one first. And anti-static, because we're going to stamp and emboss. You can see I'm using my squeaky stamping platform. Wouldn't be a Facebook Live without my squeaky stamping platform. It's just a lot easier to use in the limited space I've got available on my very messy desk. <laughs> oh, excuse me, got sniffles. In. So it's bigger than I need, just so I can get my magnets on there. Oh. Let's see if I can get one down the bottom. I might have to move that one. Yeah, it is, isn't it, Judy? It's, it looks very expensive, doesn't it? So you could also, don't forget that when you're sanding embossing backgrounds, you can also cut your flowers out of those and, um, you know... They don't have to be just for backgrounds, which should be rather lovely. Eee! I have used this, but it's very, very, very difficult to get off. Right, let's see if I can keep my magnets on there. I can, because we're going to stamp it first, and then I've got one that I've cut out. So do remember to dust with your anti-static bag. Obviously use a block if you're more comfortable using a block. Look at the state of my Versa mark. This is um, one Paradise um, Versafine Claire that's on there because I didn't clean my stamp. <laughs> because I don't. So it's my fault. I'll live with it. it still works. I just have to get another new new one out for when I want it absolutely perfect. I'm not sure if I've got any in stock. I think I've got one, so I might not get that one out until I've got some more. <laughs> so you can see I'm giving it, I'm inking it within an inch of its life because I don't want to miss any. I have got one cut out already, so it's not the end of the world if I don't. But when the stamp is dry, when it's not been used for a week or so, which it hasn't, uh, you want to give it a good old inking. Creek, and then we pop this on here, give it a press. It is well loved. Actually, I think I think some of the ink is transferring because I stamped a Christmas tree earlier, and I thought to myself, I'm sure I haven't used blue ink on that stamp. I'm sure I've only used Versamark, but it did mean I could see where I'd stamped. See, there are, there, there are pluses for every, kind of, everything, really. Right. Okay, that's in there. Can't see it. Fingers crossed. 
creak, 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 creak. Let's find a bit of paper. <coughs> Give it a good old, so we don't get any black on here. And use the paper to death. Now, where's my silver? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cosmic silver, that's what we want. So give it a shake before you use it so you mix your glitter with your embossing powder so you get a good mix of coverage. There you are, looks pretty good. Now I'm a bit lazy because I can't be bothered to get my dual speed heat tool out of my bag. Which is only behind me. Really lazy. So this this will mean that we'll get glitter everywhere. Oh, you don't need to put my remote right control there, you don't need that, do you? My fire stick. Right. So we're going to emboss this. Should we do it all at once? No, we don't need to emboss the back. Right. Oh, I know what I meant to do. Plonker. I'll show you the difference. This, this is me. What, a Versa mark? I can't ask him to leave me a Versa mark at the studio. That's a pain for those. Now, this will show you the difference. What I meant to do, see, I've been to bed since I've prepped the demo. What I meant to do was stamp this in Morning Mist, Versifying Claire, because it'll be a darker silver. So this is me showing you what the difference is going to be like without doing that. So this is me using Versamark. This is going to go everywhere. I have missed a bit. That's all right. You, you can actually position your... Um, see, I've missed a bit there. Um, you can position your dye when you cut it out so it avoids that bit. Or when you put your flowers on, you can cover it up as well. Oh, I've missed another bit. It doesn't really matter actually with these stamps. Try and follow it round. You can overcook um, twinkling embossing powders. Look at all the, there's glitter all over the place. Because I'm using a high speed heat tool and I'm not heating from underneath because I can't, I can't do that. Know your limitations. I'm going to get rid of that glitter though because it's dry, it'll drive me nuts and it'll get on everything. Let's just. The easiest way to get rid of it is water. Easiest way. Perfect. Nobody will ever know. Right. So, this is the one with the. This is Versa Mark. And it's beautiful that's your twinkling uh, your cosmic silver but this one that i've die cut you can see is much darker and this one i've stamped with um morning mist versifying clear instead of the versa mark and then put the pure silver on top and what that means is that if you do uh, kind of miss any areas with your powder then the um Versa fine clear shows through and you won't actually see any difference so i actually prefer the darker one but that's beautiful as well really lovely so you can see that i've cut that out using um the um charmed labels too and i've got the next size up out of the silver luster so that's going to go on there and remember that with the labels, just like your original labels, you've got a slightly different shape, top and bottom. So if we were to put that on there. It's, oh, it does work. Maybe it's changed this one. Just ignore that. Blah, 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 blah. Rewind. I'm sure he said you have a different shape. Anyway, right. Okay, so that's that. So now we want a background. So we're going to stamp the... What we're going to stamp? Oh, stars, not snowflakes. Oh yes, stars because we're using the poinsettia stars. The poinsettia and the poinsettia's got stars on it. That's why we're using this. So I'm actually going to use my A5 acrylic block with this because I I think, I'm finding that when I use my uh, stamping platform, I end up having to go over it on a few times um, and then even, even with keeping it right butt in the corner, 
I am getting a little bit of movement and so the definition of the stamp isn't as crisp as it would be if you only needed to apply the ink once. These are so tight. It's cling really well. Right, let's put that up there on that pile. So I'm not going to emboss this. We're just going to stamp it with that Morning Mist First Fine Clair that I meant to use beforehand. Morning Mist. I like this one. So obviously you'll be able to see that's another thing with stamping and embossing with a Verse Fine Clair. You, so you can actually see where you've got the ink on your, on your stamp. This is actually quite a pale grey. It's not um, it's not a really deep grey. But you can see where you're going. But do make sure you've got a nice juicy ink pad. I have got all the colours of Verse Fine Clair in stock at the moment. They quite often disappear from the supplier. And then sometimes it's months before we can get some more. But at the moment we're fine. Right, I think I'm inked that inch, inch of life thing again. Again, it doesn't really matter because they're grungy and we're not going to use the whole thing anyway. I haven't dusted this. But this is pure white. I'm not uh, dusting it with an anti-static bag because... Oh, I might have just swiped it across my face then. Um, I'm not embossing it and this is an A5 piece of card so you can see that the stamp is almost an A5 so with the border you've got an A5 card haven't you or you could um, you know if you had an A5 card blank or you course you could chop it down a little bit and put some mats and layers in and still make an A5 card it's not a mirror no it's not a mirror Phil doesn't do any mirror card Giving it a really good press all over. So I do want a good image. Then what you can do very carefully is turn it over and then just give yourself a little bit of insurance by pushing your hands over here because the ink has grabbed the card. So you're less likely to move it if you do it this way around rather than just putting your card on the top and, 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 and rubbing it over. That's what I find anyway. So now we can peel it off and there's our beautiful background cool really cool i love this one you see so much in them and uh, if you've got a happy planner of course you can just trim it down and actually use the happy planner punch and pop it in a happy planner right we won't clean that at the moment we might not clean it at all <laughs> might not <laughs> So, anywho, what I've done with that one is I have cut out my ingot. This is your largest of your ingot dies, I believe. Let me just double check that I'm not telling you a porker. Where's my ingots? I'm sure it's that one, yeah. So that's the largest of your plain ingot dies. I know that the stock of the Charmed dies has uh, dwindled quite a lot because I can't get hold of some of them. Um, so um, just be aware of that. Right, let's start to do a little bit of construction because we have got the next sized ingot as well out of the Silver Luster. That's going to go on there like that. And then this is going to go on here like that. So, so a bit shiny and a bit of knot. So let's get gluing. Come on. I know this one's nearly empty, but I'm loath to start a new one. Get my money's worth, or Phil's money's worth, out of this one. Put some on there, and let's get some on here straight away. I've just started using my, um, I've got one of them, bought one of those Couture Creations Go Power thingies and I've got little bits from the plates all over the back. I need to get one of them over things that John does. Well, I'll, get a lo I'll get a load of them and I'll put them on my website. Then that, that'll hoover up all the bits. I need to talk to him though because my plates are still moving. Actually, they're, they're a bit banana-ish at the moment. I shall see him tomorrow probably. 
that's John I'm talking about, John Lockwood. There we go, let's put that one on there. And then, remember less is more with your glue. Shall we see if we can get this the right way up? I think that's the right way up. I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter, because we haven't got the, I've cut it out, so we haven't got the um, hole punches, which of course can be right or left, depending on whether you, you know, you're in the, you're in the middle of your book or not, or the end of your book. That's my ingots. Then at the back of my card, this is just, I think this is just over an eighth, because you know I don't make proper cards. I'm using the Kuchu Creations Go Power and Emboss Jean. Um, so this is this measures six and a half inches by I think it's eight and a quarter. Yeah, eight and a quarter. So obviously you can you can make it just slightly smaller and make yourself an A5 card. I've embossed another piece of pure, pure white with the um, falling snow embossing folder, which is also on the show. And this is really nice. Look at that, really nice uh, debossed as well. So on the on the go power, uh, for, I, I'm still trying to figure out the sandwiches um, really with it. So I'm using the A plate. Then the embossing folder with the card in it. Then I'm using the Crafter's Companion, um, uh, what's it called, Gemini embossing plate. And then I'm putting the B plate from the Go Pair on top. So that's what I've done to get that. Because um, obviously Phil's, um, they're not quite 3D embossing folders, but they are thicker than your regular embossing folders. So you can't use the sandwich that they, they put on the box. But you can fiddle around. I haven't tried using my raspberry plate in there, but it did look to be the same kind of width as the B plate anyway. So um, I don't know. You just you just have to play around. You might have more time than I've got. I just need to find something that works for me. Uh, so, um, negative comments well you know there's negative comments about everything it does actually cut beautifully um and it um i do like the fact that you press a button for it to go uh rather than having to shove it in and try and get it to engage because when you've got banana plates it won't engage but just pressing a button is a lot easier um oh, tape fun tape I am quite impressed with it. I just need to talk to John as to why my uh, plates are um, still bending. You'll probably have an answer for me. Because I've seen his that are two years old and they, are, they aren't. they are So, um, I'll ask. My old ones. So, I'm just going to use one millimetre tape. This is the woodwear foam tape which doesn't tear, so I have to cut it. Because if I use one millimetre foam tape rather than two, it means that the card isn't as big as high. And it means, although I've run out of space already, hopefully this doesn't make it worse. That's all right, Bev. Yeah, I'm fed. I, I was, yeah, very fed up with my Gemini. I haven't had any wonky die cuts out of this one, Jean, at all. I was a little bit frustrated that I couldn't buy any extra plates, but I'll, I'll, again, I'll talk to John about that. It may be the, you know, an issue getting them into the country. Let's see if I can get this straight. That looks straightish. Straightish will do. I've also got border. Got one of the snowflake borders, so we're going to have that in the middle there, just overhanging a wee bit. I don't think the snow the borders are on the show, but I do have again, I do have some of those left in stock. I'm just going to put a bit of glue down the centre, not bothered about anything else. Oh, if I have that that way, I'll stand up. Excuses, excuses, David. Heard them all before. <laughs> Let's see if that's straight. I need to look at it. 
look straightish again we're going for ish today let's get some tape on this again we go for the one millimeter and I'll do it across I think and then I can go around my border without it going off see all these little bits definitely need a hoover for the plates I'll order some next week very difficult at the moment because I'm not always around to receive deliveries um, so um, it's been a bit difficult um, scheduling stuff I have been what what have you been watching Josephine watching the I think you pressed Pressed enter before you meant to. Oh, I can't see around the camera. I think we'll have it slightly higher there. Okay. And then we'll pop our point setter in. So, Bev, what I've done with this, <laughs> I got my demo all wrong, didn't I? I did it all wrong. Uh, so this one, which is what I'd showed you, I've stamped with Versamark. This is your poinsettia and uh, pop the cosmic silver embossing powder on top. But this one, which is the one I'm using, I've stamped with the Morning Mist Versifying Clay and put the silver on top. So it's more intense. Um, so it shows up more, which I, I prefer that uh, to the other one. And we've got the Charmed Labels too. Wheelchair rugby. Oh. I bet they don't get cauliflower ears with wheelchair rugby. <laughs> I used to work with somebody who was really into rugby and his ears were such a mess. Lovely chap, messy ears. There we go. It's going in the centre. So, I've used, I've just, because I don't want to hide this lovely image, I've used the uh, backer of the joy and just the, um, the, the topper. So we've got what pure white and we've got the silver. So we are staying tone on tone. I'm not bringing in any other colours. Obviously we've gone grey. But that's still silver tones. Um, I hope it will show up. Tweezers. Get those out. Unless they're not, they're on my desk already. Of course they are. Because I don't put anything away. <laughs> I've still got this. I still haven't lost it. I've done, I'm really proud of myself. I've had a few panics where I thought I've lost it. There's a lot of things I have lost, but not that. All right, let's just pop this on here, like so. And then that's gonna go in there like that. Doesn't stand out mega, but that's all right, because the person that receives it is up per close and personal to it, so they'll be able to see it. Not that I'll send it to anybody. <laughs> I don't see why Phil should be the only person who doesn't send cards out. <laughs> I'll put that glue away and I should have put some on the back. Plonker. I think I'm... I don't know whether my head's going to be in the game because I've not done any shows for a few weeks. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. There we go. Here. Is that straight? Oh, pull that up. Yep, that'll do. Obviously, it takes a little bit of time to bond because we're going on top of um, glitter. And next, we've got our ferns. Oh, what's going on here with Facebook? You are. So, 
I need to figure out my rights and my lefts. I don't think it really matters because you can you can turn them anyway. So we're going to have one at the top. I always do top left and bottom right. I don't know why I do. Unless there's an image that's going to get obliterated, that's what I tend to do. Now that one's going. That's it. I don't know which way we're going. It's going like that. And then we've got some poinsettias to stick on as well. my little box of poinsettias so obviously I've done these with the silver luster card with the delicate poinsettia and in the centre I think you can see it, I've got some of the um, shimmer pearls so I've used the uh, pewter shimmer that's in the centre Let's get the foliage on first. I'm just reading your comments. Make sure I'm not missing anything that you want me to answer. You have to shout if you if if, if I'm supposed to answer something. I do like poinsettias. I don't think you can have enough poinsettias, whether they be stamps or dyes. They're just such a lovely flower. I struggle. I'm not very good at keeping them, though, because I'm not very good at keeping any sort of plants inside. I'm not very good at keeping them outside, actually, when I'm busy. One of my fuchsias in my garden is worrying me at the moment. It's a hardy fuchsia, and I've had it for... Well, since we moved in, so it's been here nearly over eight years. And um, some of the stems have just started to wither. I don't know if it's lack of water, it might be. So I drowned it, yes, uh, yeah, um, when I got back on Friday. And uh, I think it, think those stems might need to be cut off so that they're not... Um, Sap, you know, getting the water where the other stems that are healthy could have them. I think that's what I might have to do. Cut them off. So let's see. I might not. Let's have that over a bit more. Because I've got quite a few poinsettias here. I've got six. Normally put five on. I've got six. Yeah, cats, cats and house plants. My head, honestly. Um, I'd been away for, I don't know, a couple of nights. And because uh, I've got a hire car, because my car's being fixed at the moment. Yeah, uh, I don't know if it's that he didn't recognise the car, but when I came in, I said hello to him, you know, gave him a stroke, and then he ran upstairs and went under the bed. <laughs> I don't understand that cat at all. Right, let's have... I'll put them on by hand. Let's have a look at these. Aren't they beautiful? They do look, these poinsettias do look fabulous with the luster card. Whether you choose the, the normal red or whether you go for something else like the silver. They they do look fabulous. You just need to be careful when you fetch them out of the dye. And you need to be, uh, you need to just um, mould them with your fingers. But um, they are absolutely beautiful. Um, in the lost card, I think Phil's put the lost card on on the show. He told me he was, so it should be there. So we're nearly done, and I've prepped a lot beforehand, so we we get through it quite quick because it's a lot of it's straightforward, isn't it? Isn't I mean, obviously, if you wanted to, you could actually colour some of this in. But because I've done pure white card, I don't actually like to colour in unless I have to with the pure white card. And it is sometimes nice just to do um, like a monochromatic card because, you know, we're just using silver and white. Um, a bit of pink might be nice on here because that would go very well. But um, it's entirely up to you. I mean, you could still use the watercolour card and use kind of cream and silver tones which should be lovely or gold and silver tones um but i mean the 
the, the thing is that the stamps don't have to be coloured in if you don't want to. The detail on them is just tremendous, both the backgrounds and the um, poinsettia. So you really don't have to do loads with them. So, you know, quite quickly, I mean, obviously the die cutting takes a while, but you can have a real good session at it. But quite quickly, you can make something that is really, really pretty. I'm not sure if that's 100% straight, but it's on there, so that's where it's staying. I think it's the angle I've got it at. I hope it's straight after all that. I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think I can fetch it up, though. Let's see. Yeah, it's not straight, and that's going to bug me. But... I think it might just have to bug me because I'm not going to fetch that up. We're not doing it. We're just staying it. This is the trouble with Facebook Lives. You can't actually see whether they're straight or not. I think it's just ever so slightly over. Don't don't tell his nibs. Um. The poinsettias, what you could do is um, they do actually tight. I mean, they do tighten up. But lots of dyes tighten up. So what you could do is you could you could uh, get some of this. I've got some of this in stock, which lasts for ages, and you can use it in the kitchen as well. Some cut right wax paper. So you can actually run the dyes through with it, and um, then that will lubricate them. You don't need. You only need to do it once. You, you can you can run it through with the card as well. So you can put. Um, this down um, next to the die, then your card, and so it will cut through the wax paper and then the card, and that will lubricate, and you've still got a die cut to use. Um, you could actually just, if the, if the wax paper stays in the die, you could actually just leave the wax paper in the die, and, and, and that will work. Um, but the wax paper lubricates them, so it's a good idea to do it every so often. Like, even with your charm dies, uh, they will tighten up, so... Um, so you can you you know you can run it through whenever you want to, uh, just to lubricate. Um, it is actually easier, I think, to get the luster card out than it is to get your regular uh, premium card stock out because it seems to be the shiny surface of it um, does seem to release a little bit more. Um, does that make sense? I'm using yeah I'm using the delicate poinsettias. The other set of point poinsettias is a deboss detail which is your um I can't remember what the original one was called but this is the delicate one. Feel side at home with those that didn't split. So I think it depends on your machine and the pressure of your machine Helen actually. Um, what spell binders? I'm not sure what spell binders has got to do with anything. Oh, festive points said you was the other one. Yeah, yeah. No, delicate one is the one I've used. So there you go. So um, so show, Phil shows are at three and seven today. Um, I think there's a free gift we purchase on the show because it's the birthday event, and then mine are at. Uh, that's really showing us it being wonky there. Um, good old cameras. Um, and then uh, yeah, I'm on at nine and one tomorrow, and uh, then I'm back on Thursday as well. We've got uh, Phil's doing a one day special on Wednesday and Thursday. And I've got two shows for him on Thursday, carrying on his one-day special. And I've also got two designs on Thursday as well. So I'll probably do a Facebook Live with 2T on uh, Wednesday uh, at the normal time of 11 o'clock. Uh, but the, I don't think there'll be one with the magazine box kit because I can't fit everything in. Um, all right then, so thank you very much for joining me and I will see you on the telly box tomorrow. Bye.